Babe, wake up. A new Bulgarian just dropped. So what you just saw there is an 18-year-old young man. Yes, 18 years old, Carlos Nassar at 89 kilos body weight. He's probably over that in training, but that's what he lifts at in competition. Clean and jerking, 225 kilos, just shy of 500 pounds. So I want to briefly go over some Bulgarian lore, if you will. The term Bulgarian training was simply put bastardized kind of in like the early 2000s uh, by a lot of different magazines a lot of different people were trying to coin the term training bulgarian and all it really meant was focusing on your training on building to somewhat of a daily maximum and some people would even go to say to build to a maximum set of three uh, and doing that consistently to build strength and to build size while that may be an effective methodology it's really nowhere near the Bulgarian system. The Bulgarian team is an incredibly notorious team for having daily max outs. No, try daily max outs, usually in the snatch, clean and jerk, and front squat. Now, I know Max Ada, who ended up working with the head coach who started the whole thing, Ivan Abijayev. That's an important name to know. And he said that they did some back squats, they did some pulls, but basically what they were doing was three sessions a day, maxing your snatch, maxing your clean and jerk, and maxing your front squat. The era that this team lifted in was technically the modern era. Before this era, there was the snatch, the clean and press, and the clean and jerk. And when they got rid of the clean and press, this is what we would consider to be the modern era, basically between 1973 and 1992. In that era, there was no more successful team than the Bulgarians. The video that you're seeing right now is from the documentary School of Champions. In it, you see Ivan Abijayev kind of ruling over his team with an iron fist. The idea is train harder than anyone on earth, kill yourself in training repeatedly, mentally break yourself down so that competition becomes easier. Now, it should go without saying that drugs has a very, very important part in weightlifting training, and it still currently does. In a video that I made on Matt Fraser, I talked about one of the Bulgarian lifters talking about the drug use that he had done. His name is Valentin Hristov, and you know, it's it's a massive amount of drugs, but it's also a massive amount of training. And if they're going to get away with it, they're going to get away with it. We can't do anything about that. I don't want to make this video about that at all. But what I do want to draw our attention to is this young man's performance mirrors that of the greats in that modern era. Basically, what we're in now would be like this postmodern era, or I, I don't know what we would call it. The weight classes have been shuffled around as to make new uh, world records available with uh, a new shiny drug-free uh, sport that is weightlifting, which is obviously not the case. So if we look at the records from this modern era of 1973 to 1992, you can see Bulgaria throughout. Ivan Ivanov, uh, you see Neno Tirziski. Oh, this one's cool. His name was Naim Solimanov here. Uh, and then later in his career, when he went to 60 kilos and lifted there and he lifted for Turkey, he changed his name to Naim Suleymanoglu. There's an interesting story behind that. You should check out the weightlifting house video on Naim. It's really cool. Uh, then you also have Mikhail Petrov. You have Angel Genchev. You have Alexander Varbanov. You have Ozan Zlatev, Blagoy Blagoyev. Uh, and then, of course, Antonio Krastev with a 216 snatch that held for a long, long time. And if we look at these numbers right here between, you know, Varbanov and Ozan Zlatev and the world records in these categories, yes, they're at lighter body weights, which is absolutely insane to think about. But this 18 year old, you know, young man is right on the verge of that. You can look at Varbanov with this legendary totally underrated clean and jerk uh 215 at 75 kilos crazy supposedly he did 220 in training then you have Ozan Zlatev with 225 at 82.5 kilos body weight yes he weighs less than Carlos Nassar but again Carlos is 18 and this is supposed to be the era of less drug use look the the crazy thing is is that 
the modernization of this sport or the post-modernization of this sport is not going to go the way that people think it is. And this video isn't going... I really don't want this video to be about drug use. I just want to point out that like a lot of these people lifting currently, they're on islands. Like WADA just doesn't have agents running around spending ton thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to try and track these people down and test them. And we know that the Bulgarian national testing protocol is, is a joke if it even exists at all. If you compare that to USADA or UCADA out in the UK or, you know, uh, in Canada or uh, even Germany, uh, places like that, you know, it's not even a comparison. But that's always been the case. And this is not a com complaint against that. It's just crazy, crazy to see an 18 year old clean and jerking 225 kilos. Absolutely crazy. And what does this mean? Well, he's in Bulgaria. Is he training like a Bulgarian used to? I don't know. It's very interesting. So his first picture is in February 18th, 2018. This was four years ago. This is what this child looked like as at 14 years old. Now, yeah, going through puberty is a hell of a drug. It really is. Uh, it's the highest your testosterone ever is ever going to be. But, you know, going from looking like this to, to where he looks like when he's 18 is a big difference. OK, I'm not here to do a natty or not thing. It's pretty obvious with just numbers, um, the likelihood that an 18 year old is doing things that people who admitted that how much they doped were were doing. So here's him about a year later at 15 years old doing what I'm assuming to be a back squat at 210 kilos. Yeah, pretty much a maximal back squat is an easy clean and jerk for this guy now. August 19th, 2022, at 16 years old, this is what we're looking at. So in February 15th of 2021, here he is snatching 167 kilos. So in uh, about a year's time, maybe a little bit more, his highest clean and jerk was 161. And now his snatch at this time is 167. And now he looks fully jacked. He's got some tattoos. Uh, February 20th, 2021. I mean, guy's fucking an absolute mutant. Looks amazing. So look, at the end of the day, it, it's this is not a, a natty or not call out, even though you could call it that. There could be a situation where, you know, at 14, he looks like that. And then at 18, he's clean and jerking 225. It is almost incredibly unlikely to be able to do that naturally. At a body weight of under 105 kilos to clean and jerk 225. Anyways, this gentleman is going to be partaking in worlds. He'll likely be tested there. He'll likely, you know, clean and jerk probably around 210, 215, maybe 220 if he, if he, uh, you know, has a good meet. Um, there's other guys in that category as well. You should definitely watch uh, the worlds. Weightlifting House is going to be broadcasting it. My boy Seb. Max Ada, they're going to be the announcers. If you guys are interested at all at, uh, in weightlifting at the elite level, I would definitely suggest checking it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.